Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Affinity Publisher beta version. Um, the version I'm currently working on is uh, the newest one which is 1.7.0.133. Um, so this may not work in the earlier versions, I'm not 100% certain. Or by the time you come to watch this it may be a different version, but it should work. And we're looking at styles now this is really aimed at beginners in a publisher and for anybody that has got affinity photo and affinity designer you should already be fairly conversant with styles because it's been part of those programs you know since their inception um, but just to show you in designer you've got a styles tab here and in photo there's a styles tab there as well um, let me just close those two down as I don't need those anymore now by default the styles tab isn't visible in Affinity Publisher so the first thing we need to do is to make it visible so you just need to come to the view menu come down to studio and then just click on styles and it will add the styles tab to this panel here so by default you have these uh, seven styles but you can get more and you can make more so first thing I'll do is I'll just let me just put a new layer in here and let me just fill that with a solid and then come back to the styles tab now I'd imagine they probably haven't made this visible in publisher because it's probably something you may not use so much in publisher you know because publisher is more desktop publishing so it's more booklets and posters and things like that but so you may not use this so much but I personally think it's something worth to keep the tab open all the time but that's just my personal preference so once you have a an area or a letter or something that you want to add the style to you just need to click on one of these cogs and it will change that item to that colorful style so you have these various ones that you get by default and are supplied by serif now you can make your own or you can get some others as you can see here if I click on this oh, sorry it didn't work I don't know why it didn't work but this um, drop down menu I have already installed quite a few extra styles because I already had them in design and photo and so those same files that I had in design and photo will install into publisher as well so first of all let me look at where you can find some of these styles um, now I run a Facebook group called fans of Sarah software and in the file section on this, there are lots of files that I and myself um, and people like Angela H. Evans has uploaded all sorts of different files that you can download so there's, there's some PNGs and there's some brushes and it might be it might have to go down quite a way to find a style um, I promise there is one down here somewhere. So there's some brushes there that you can also download and put into Designer and Photo. There's also some macros. Oh, there we have. We have a cog style made by John Harris. Um, and there's some styles here, again, made by Angela. So if you scroll down, you will find some styles that way. And you can download them and then install them into Affinity Publisher. Another good place to get 
them is from the Affinity Forums. Now if you come down to the resource section here, and then all you've got to do, I mean obviously again here there's all sorts of things, there's brushes and effects and textures, and somewhere down here there must be a style, here we go, there's a style, rust style. So you click on that, and then there's the option to download that style as a zip file and then you just have to unzip it and whatever and now this is the one i will be showing later on how to install them let's go back to this affinity um, publisher so we now have a look at the different styles here so let's have a look at how to import a style that you may have downloaded now in this corner, uh, corner of the panel up here, this is a um, little menu icon. If you click on that, you get these various options, and one of them is Import Style and Category. Um, and these are the various ones that I've downloaded over the years, and one of them should be the Rust Texture, so I'll click on that. And the file name will be .af styles. Um, like I said, it's the same in all three of the Affinity programs. So, just click on that, open, and then that style will now be added to your styles panel. So, if I click on these now, you can get these different textures and the different rust textures. So that is how you can import a style. Let's go back to a more basic one, like that one from the default section. Now, if you wanted to make your own style, be it a photograph or um, just a plain background like this, what you could do, let's, um, let's go with Let's make this a gradient and let me just change the colors here we'll have red at that end this end we'll have blue and then I'll insert one in the middle and just click insert and we'll pick up a, a yellow So I've just made this odd gradient. Now the thing you do have to remember here is that wherever you make this your new uh, style, it will go into the folder or section that you have open. So I'm going to just stick this into the default for now just to show you how it works. But if you wanted to make your own you'd have to again open this menu and then you'd have to add a styles category name it and then you can install it into that but I'll just right click on this and it's got create style so that style will now be added to whichever section you have open so if I change this now let's get me come off that tool so that line goes away so if I now click on these and if I now click on that one I've just made, it will bring back that style that I just made. So that is how you can import them and uh, use them. If you wanted to export the, you, I don't, can't remember if you can export them individually. I think you, no, I think you have to export the whole category. So again, it's very similar. You would just give the um, name, uh, give a name for that particular style, and export it, and then you can upload it and share it with people. Okay, so you're not restricted to just use it on backgrounds. Like I, uh, like I said earlier, you can um, use it on text and other items. Let me just um, just add a layer here, and 
I'll just draw this bit of text here and type a letter G and then I will just center it and then I will come back to the styles menu and just click on a style and you can add that style to um, the letter or whatever object that you use and if you click on the same style as what is on the background obviously it's going to sort of blend into the background I mean you could add for example a bit of color to the out, uh, the stroke outline and come to the rectangle tool a second and it will tell you that the fill is the uh, gradient that I made and the stroke is black but at the moment that stroke is set to none if I just change the width of that it will just add a bit of width to the outline and you could make it a, an effect like that so that is looking at you know where you can find styles how you to you can import them how you can export them and how hopefully how you can use them um, as you can see I do have lots here and I do, do still have quite a few to add in um, but that is sort of a huge project for myself but if you're new to this I would advise you to sort of just try one or two and see how you get on with them um, hopefully this has been of some help and like I said it works exactly the same in Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer so hopefully if you've got all three programs you can just import them into all three programs so thank you for watching and goodbye